Minister. And a welcome also to this long, leggy person on my right, my new colleague Mark Allen, who's going to win his spurs by telling you for a start what we've got on the programme tonight. On tonight's programme, we have in the studio, playing live, Simple Minds, Glenn Matlock's new group, Hot Club. Not in the studio, we have Tom Tom Club and Rolling Stones on video. And also dropping in uh, at some stage in person will be Kate Bush. Well, we've been off the air since June, and in that... ...studios, recording her new LP, The Dreaming. And the resultant noises include helicopter rotor blades, didgeridoos, and a chorus of fake sheep. The title track, I can assure you, is comparatively orthodox. And this is it, Kate Bush and The Dreaming. Kate Bush, and good grief, as I live and breathe. It's amazing, isn't it? It looks remarkable. The power of the whistle test. Whistle here. <laughs> it is here, I think. You came, you came up by... Now, we had a curious story, Kate. You, you came up by train today, and you wanted to rehearse with some dancers. So you, you got a guards van 
to do this in. Is this correct, or yes. is this just completely no, got up? It is true, yes. What do you do? Turn up at Euston Station and say, I'd like a second-class return van, to Manchester in a guard's van? Please. Yeah, well, someone from the uh, record company did that this morning, and they actually cleared it out. For, they took all the post out and everything, so we just had an empty carriage to work in. It, it was really incredible. Actually. What's it like, sort of swaying Very from difficult. side to side? Then? At 100 miles an hour, it's really difficult. What were you trying to do? You were rehearsing a new video. That's right, yes. So we're just checking the routine before we actually make it. Yeah. And there's how, no how, time, so we do it on the train. What's your involvement in a video like that? I mean, do you, do you start right at the beginning and do everything yourself? Um, I always work with a director, and you have to use an awful lot of people, obviously, but um, normally the ideas come from me. Um, and because I've written the song, often I've had ideas mm -hmm. at an earlier stage, so it's putting them into um, practice. Yeah, that idea seemed very much to be prompted by Australia, is that correct? We've got Absolutely. Aborigines and the bush and all that kind of thing. Uh, wh was where it, does was that it a date true from? reflection of a typical day in, in Australia, in your, <laughs> in your experience? When did you go there? Four years ago? Uh, yeah, four years ago, yeah. It was just a promotional trip. But um, I managed to talk to a lot of the young Australian people yeah. about Aborigines and their knowledge of them, if they'd ever met them. And uh, they told me all about the kangaroos and what a nuisance they are and how they have the big crash barriers on the front. Rubars. That's it, rubars, right. yeah. yeah. And uh, I picked up a, a feeling for what it was like from being there. So, uh, yes, it was quite inspirational. Has that track, that particular track, been heard by Australians? I wonder what their reaction is towards it. Yes, I wonder. I think it would be a, a lot less um, unusual for them, obviously, because the didgeridoo is a, a home instrument and they know it very well. It's probably quite boring for them. Mm. So I don't know how they'll react. It'd be there's very one, interesting. Sorry, there's one very famous Australian featured on this album who you're not used to finding on, on, on rock records. Uh, Rolf Harris. Yes. He, he, this is correct, is it? He yeah. plays the didgeridoo on that track. Yes, he does. I think it's, um, it's interesting how people sort of go, Rolf Harris. Well, it, it's not the sort of person you <laughs> sing, used to seeing in credits. You know, no, along with he's not often mentioned on this programme, is he? No. no. But and he is a very good didgeridoo player, which is why we used him. Well, you have to go for the first, definitely. Yeah. What is a didgeridoo? What does it look like? It's a long piece of wood that's hollowed out. And um, what they do is they... They find the bits of wood already hollowed out because the termites eat the soft wood and literally just hollow the branch out and they just sit and blow through them. And the blowing technique is, is very difficult because while you're breathing in through your nose, you have to breathe out through your mouth and it's like a whole circular technique so you can just keep the drone going continuously. So it's only people like Rolf Harris can quite master it, yeah? Yeah, he is very good. I'm yeah. sure he is. I also heard that on that track you employed, I think, Percy Edwards to supply yeah. the kind of synthesized jungle backing. This is the bird impression. The bird impressions are normally animals. Yes. Animals. Yes. Well, um, I knew that in the choruses we wanted to create a, a feeling of the landscape and obviously there are a lot of Australian animals and mm. the sounds are very reminiscent of the environment. And of course Percy could come along and give us a selection of at least ten different Australian animals. He's, he's made a study of Australian animals. Well, I think he's made a study of nearly any animal that's alive. Yeah. And he's very unique. I mean, there is no one else really that's doing what he does. Well, I hope the album does well, both for yourself and for Percy. Kate Bush, Thank thanks you. very much. Before you go, there's just one question we want answered. We've been doing some research, Mark and I. We want to know why Genius of Love by the Tom Tom Club wasn't a massive hit all over the world for weeks and weeks and weeks. Have you heard it? No. You've not. Ah. That's obviously the reason that somebody not this promoting it. Because he's bought a copy of it. I've you bought, bought two copies. Of it. I think several people out here have bought one. And you haven't. No, I do think they're good though. I think they're good. They are indeed. And we're not going to give up on this one because the next piece of video that you're about to see and enjoy and be terrible. The world karate champion. I suppose you'd like to meet him as well. <laughs>